Well, <clears throat> my house is surrounded by the police. Uh, basically, they've cut my house off uh, from the main roads. And, uh, and there was a police statement that there were 40 terrorists hiding in my house, so they were going to come and search for these terrorists. So I've invited everyone, the media and everyone, to come and look for these terrorists which are supposed to be hiding in my house. I believe it's just a pretext for them to again conduct a raid and pick me up. So you say that those, those people that they suggest are uh, involved in the uh, violence of last week are not at your property? They're, what they're saying is that once I was uh, abducted, and I use the word abducted, confirmed by the Supreme Court, unlawfully picked up from within the precincts of the Islamabad High Court, uh, there was a reaction in the public. We believe that any independent investigation will show that the people who came out for, for me were peaceful protesters, as they have been for 27 years. There were some people we believe were inserted in there which created arson. And that's what has given them the reason to crack down on us. Seven and a half thousand of our people are in jail today. All my top leadership is in jail. So the you say, you case, say, sir, you say that your supporters are not responsible in any way for the violence. And in fact, it was other elements that, who do not belong to the party, who do not support you, that caused the damage and violence instead. Is that what you're saying? I, what I'm saying, Nick, this was deliberate. And you have to know the background. The audience must, must know why. The reason is that the, the rating of my political party is 70% today. So the Imran Khan saga is still ongoing. And the Imran Khan has called for more protest after he was released on bail by first the Supreme Court and then the High Court. <laughs> it's funny to see how politics in Pakistan is unfolding, right? Yeah, because Imran Khan was brought to the limelight by the so-called military. They have always been very powerful in Pakistan. They have always been involved in politics in Pakistan, and they have always taken out those who have disagreed with them. So the Pakistani military is not just a new institution that you can bully or you can kick back and forth. They are very, very powerful. And to see Imran Khan going toe to toe with them makes you wonder who will laugh the last laugh. <laughs> because if there's one thing I have realized is that most of these countries that have the military so involved in their politics end up having the military as the head of the country, end up having the military staging a coup and taking over the government. It's very common in Southeast Asia. You have countries like uh, Myanmar that had democracy. And after a couple of years, the military realized that the democratic parties were reaching too far. They decided that. And now maybe now is the time to cap their power. <laughs> so they took over. We also have Thailand that have staged more coups than any other country in the whole world. They also have a, 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 a history of the military stepping in and taking over the government when they think it's necessary. So to see Imran Khan challenging them, I, I personally think that is very dangerous. And like I have said before, and I will keep on saying, not that I'm being unpatriotic, but just like to warn people who are out there protesting that you guys must be very, very careful when you protest. Because 
things might go wrong. You might lost your life. You might be arrested and sent to jail. There are a lot of things that might go wrong by you just going out in the street to protest. Imran Khan can call for this protest. Imran Khan can even participate in this protest. Imran Khan can say whatever he wants to say and can maybe go free. Do you know why? Because he is very, very powerful and he has got a lot of powerful friends. And even though he is going toe-to-toe -to -toe with the military, he has powerful friends within the military. They can always guarantee his safety. They can always protect him. What about you who is going to protest? Do you have that same level of security and guarantees? Can anyone vouch for your safety and security? Can anyone protect you? Let me make this clear again. I am not saying that you shouldn't protest. I'm only saying that when doing that, be careful. Be careful because a lot of things might go wrong when you are out there protesting. I can assure you that many people who were arrested during the last protest have not been set free. Some of them are still in prison. Some of them might have been shot and killed. Some of them might have been injured and they are in the hospital. And you know who is paying for their bills? Themselves. Not Imam Khan. No, not him. So, when people came out and called for protest, you must ask yourself, what do they stand to gain? And how have they been treating the people? But you guys out there, what is your take on this whole Imran Khan never-ending saga with the Pakistani army? Do you think that he can ever defeat them? Or maybe the military is just buying time. And when the time is right, they will just pick him up or take him out. Like they did Benazir Ebutu. Let us know in the comment section below because like always, we love hearing what you have to say. And also, please don't forget to like this video, share this video, follow our Facebook page. And most importantly, subscribe to this channel because little did of good we, like the one you're doing just now, help us a lot. And we shall forever be grateful to you. So thank you very much for doing just that. And like always, see you in the next one.